Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It's probably uh, another Wednesday, if all goes well. This uh, May of 2023, making it a wonderful day for whatever this is. Today, we're going over a Shinjin Soul game. And you might be asking to yourself, who? Going over a what? Well, for those of you who do not know who Shinjin So is, one, welcome to Go. This is clearly uh, your your first year with the game, so welcome, happy to have you. And yeah, good old Shin Jin So just happens, just happens to be the current strongest human player in the world. Now you might be like, okay, but what does that mean? If you like, he could be the strongest, but you know, the next strongest could you know be taken over his spot and he's taken over their spot like what what do you mean by strongest like what's what's the difference there well uh glad you asked because it turns out shinjin so was on a winning streak as of february of this year he was on a winning streak of 29 games if you could believe it 29 games won that is amazing. That is unbelievable. Almost as amazing as my book that you can find on Amazon if you haven't already picked it up. You need more uh, information about the opening, you can go over, grab the book, and learn more about the opening. It's fantastic. Link in the description down below. But unfortunately, all things, even large wind streaks, must come to an end. That's right, I just spoiled this game for you. But the thing is, I have to spoil this game for you, because I'm not just picking the game because, oh, Shinjin So is, you know, really, really good, and even when he's losing, he's really, really good, and blah, 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 blah. No, how this game turned against Shinjin So is fascinating. Because right now, I want you all to think, assuming you haven't seen this game before, I want you all to think and imagine how this game against the strongest player in the world who was on an absolute massive tear. How did this game get lost? It's a good question. What kind of game are you envisioning? What are you thinking? Is it going to be a complicated game? Is it going to be new Jaseki, old Jaseki, territory influence, aggressive, passive? What are you, what, what are you, what are you thinking? And as we go over this game, I want to see if what you are thinking is going to align with what you're seeing on the board. So the game starts off, as a lot of these games often do, with the upper right 4-4 four, four points. So we could be territory, we can be influence, we can be anything with 4-4 four, four points. 4-4 four, four points are probably the most normal, uh, solid opener you can do you can do anything if you want influence hey you can get influence you want territory hey you can get territory it's nice simple and relaxing now i know what you're thinking whatever you thought was going to happen here i know how it's going to start you're thinking that there's going to be a bunch of three three invasions don't you that's what you're thinking but would i go over a game that features nothing but 3-3 invasions? Does that sound like me? I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. But in this case, we'll be making it an exception because yeah, that's exactly what happens. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do this, 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 and then we're gonna do this, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, and then we're gonna block the other way because that's just what we're doing now. And then we're gonna go and then do that one. Okay, great, fantastic. Like I said, it, it's gotta be a thing. This is just this is just how pro players are saying hello right now. It's like hello. Hope you don't mind if I let myself on into your three three. Very roomy around here. Gonna be redecorating it with uh, some of my friends. And then while they're redecorating, they're like, okay, well, fine. Then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna invade your three three, and I'm gonna redecorate that with some of my friends. I'm just kidding. They're Go players. They're massive nerds. They don't have any friends at all. That's just a, that's just, that's just a joke. So we continue on. Black approaches rather than 3-3. Three, three. That's good. That's good. Now we've got... Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. 
white backs off, because we don't really pincer now. I mean, you could. I've seen some games where you could pincer high here and just start, like, massively fighting over everything. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That is Elke. If you suggested this in a KGS Plus lecture back way back when, you would get yelled at by Yilun Yang. Yeah, three, three, early 3-3 three, three is... Okay, so early 3-3 three, three was regarded as not a very good idea because it gives massive amounts of influence to your opponent early on in the game. That hasn't changed any. It's just... The AI has given humans other ways of dealing with it to make it not be an overwhelming amount of influence, but an equal amount of influence. And that part is really, 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 really stupidly important, because it's also where, like, 90% of amateurs who try to do the early 3-3 massively fail uh, like it's fun. Because they'll be like, they're taking the 3-3, and their opponent gets nothing. And then their play is going to reflect their opponent getting nothing. And the minute they do that, they stop at what is supposed to happen, which is an equal result, and they go into overplaying where you think you took something and your opponent gets nothing. So, that, that's usually where the amateurs go all, go all, uh, you know, face up. All right, so white backed off, and black's like, hey. I'm making me an area on top of the board. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. But good old Shinjin So, he knows better than to build. Influence isn't worth very much. Hasn't anyone told Black this? Apparently not, but that's fine, because Shinjin So is going to school him. He's going to school him. Black drops down. On a side note, I do want to say how weird it is, regardless of whatever the meta theory currently is nowadays, it is really weird to have an opening with literally the same Jaseki played in so many of these corners. That's really weird. With Sente, black attacks. Why wouldn't black attack? What's AI percent? Okay, so for most of the game until a certain part, it's going to be mostly even. Okay? In fact, you know what the AI percentage is. That even be telling you. Because the only question you have to ask yourself is, is the upper right of Jiseki? If so, it's an even result. Therefore, 50-50 is the bottom right of Jiseki. If so, it's an even result. Therefore, 50-50. 50-50. So, there you go. You already know what it is. If white fundamentally had a much better position than their opponent, the pros would never and the AI would never recommend this kind of style of play. So we have the pincer. We make shape to avoid it. Now, there are a lot of things you could do after this one. You could, for example, just go ahead and do like a little tigrimut and do like a pincery times or like a diagonally, whatever. Instead, white is all about I'm just trying to settle. So we are going to play a bunch of things to settle all the things. Black goes nice and calm and connect. White goes nice and calm and connect. And then saves stone, which is also acting, thanks to all the influence on the board, as an extension off the wall. So, so far, things are pretty, uh, pretty calm, pretty relaxed. It's also the first instance where you could have made a boo-boo. Because if we had played here, that could give literally the reverse to white, and suddenly we're reducing the wall and expanding off of ours, plus, 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 we're not even connected to anything, because just really click in crude. You have to be careful of this group still, right? Because B1 isn't another I just, just yet, so you have to be a little bit careful. Right, right? So there would be some Aji there. 
So all right, there we go. Surrounding is really good, so not surprised to see this. So far, calm moves from both players, with the exception that black has more potential. Not surprised to see this in the game, because Shinjin So is heavily, heavily AI-oriented. Uh, so I expect to see him playing, for the most part, unless things go really, really weird against a lower-ranked player. I expect uh, Shinjin So most of the time to have a more territorial style play. And as Peyton has just shown, yes, white is finding that black is just making a bunch of boxes so far. It is also imperative to take note of, this is kind of, in a weird way, check. And the reason why I say that is because white doesn't really want black to have 30 points of territory here on the bottom of the board. That's a lot. How much is that exactly, though, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you, a I'm glad you asked. Well, if we have the territory here, and there's also about seven or eight points over in here. There we go. Well, that's not 30 yet, is it? Yeah, it's not 30 yet. Um, that's, a, that's a point. That's probably a point. We don't really know what points are in here yet because there's stones literally so close to it. There'll probably be points in here, though. I doubt that'll be 3-3, three, three, right? Sure, all of it. There we go. Now we're above 30. So we have to tap all of White's territory, excluding Comey, to make what Black is threatening on the bottom of the board. And once you realize that, you realize why influence like this was still greatly respected and to some extent feared before the AI, because this is still telling a tale of Black threatening to win the game based on what he already has in one area of the board. Now you can control that. There are still invasions elsewhere, but it didn't really take a lot of effort for Black to set up, did it? But it will take a lot of effort for White to reduce. Black throw or White throws in. It's a sente move. Why not? Threatens to kill a corner. Dropping down just to secure the points, it makes sense because just as there's Aji here, so too, whoops, so too, so too, hold up, hold up, hold up, uh, go away. Um, I need you to play away. There we go. So too is there Aji here. And the last thing that we would want to do, for example, is do uh, really quick and crude. Let's we go maybe do this one. Now it's 30 points plus the root reacquired corner bit of a co there you don't really want to see this kind of thing right and you don't want to see this ideally either because this is just continuing to expand you know like you see how easy a couple of moves really makes the influence go insane that's because and even the ai will tell you this a little bit of influence for territory, equal result. But at some point, you reach critical mass, and it's no longer influ it's no longer uh, even anymore. It's insanely huge. It becomes an avalanche that will just bury the opponent if they don't keep it in check. So, with that in mind, no one is surprised that Black is going out into the middle. White said, "Hey, can I kill you again?" Black said, no, you really can't. Then White said, then I will build the left while you build the bottom, and we will see who gets more at the end of the game, sir. I can build as well. Good day, sir. I say good day. It also has the added benefit, by the way, of... Oh, quickly eyeball something. Nah. Nah. Yeah, something like that. And that has the added benefit of making sure that this doesn't go to here. Making a whole bunch more in the middle. Because if this connects to here, then that's a new wall. And then that's just more expansion. So you don't really want that either. But alright, chat. It's time to flex 
your direction of play. White has just thrown down the gauntlet. He says, I can build just like you. What are you going to do? What are we doing here, chat? What are we doing? Don't lose the game now. Don't lose the game. D13. What's D13? Go, go ahead and play over here. An intriguing idea, to be sure. What is Mr. Boxman like? Good old Peyton. What you got in mind? Got a preference? Peyton is a good old seven down on the Foxies. More boxes. Okay. Where would you make the more boxes there, Peyton? F15. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Those of you who guessed F15, congratulations. Yeah, we're, we're, we're building. We're, we're building, yo. This also now threatens A. Because the invasion after the jump is pretty big. That said, white needs points. You cannot. I don't care how much. You are all in for the AI. Okay, I don't care how much you're in for the AI. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. You can love it to death. It can be the greatest thing since sliced bread, in your opinion. However, you're not going to win on just this and this. You're not. Won't be enough. Never be enough territory. So, he follows up. Threatening to build. To which, Black says, hey, I'm gonna invade you. I'm gonna invade you. Don't want me to invade you, do you? Because it threatens good old C13, right? Full surround. Kick and sente. And defaults. Now we're now we're building. Now, it is at this point you are probably tempted to do something that a lot of Western players get wrong. You start building, you're never attacking, and then you get into a headspace, so you never ever attack throughout the rest of the game, and you just keep trying to build for the rest of the game. And you've ignored, like, shape and Aji and all that good stuff, which is bad. Even our Western pros struggle with, you know, shape and Aji. And sometimes tend to try to, you know, fall back into building. It's just a Western thing. But, Black, not a Western pro. Black is a Korean pro. This good stone, which is representing fourth, maybe even fifth line territory. Not dead yet. And we can see that connecting it up or down is a threat to expand insanely across the board. They took A, so take B. You're beginning to see how Shinjin So is going to lose, and it's bizarrely beautiful. This game doesn't look complicated, does it? it? Really doesn't. It's as simple as simple can be. Now, why would someone be going out of their way to play as simple as simple can be against Shinjin So? Well, here's the thing. If if you just look at his results, it doesn't quite tell the full tale. Yes, great win rate percentage. Pog champ, that's worth a dab or two. Lots of wins back to back. 29 of them, in fact. But you know what's weird? According to the AI, this isn't just my opinion. According to the AI, he shouldn't have won all of those games. Because sometimes he falls as low as 5% chance to win. 
he screws games up hard. I can only assume good old uh, Black here decided, you know what? I think if I leave him enough rope, he will hang himself. I just have to sit and wait for it. So I'm keeping the game nice and calm. I want to believe that this is based on him studying his opponent's uh, recent games. All pros do this. And he decided this is Shinjin So's weakness. So Shinjin So goes after those 30 points. All right. Which means he's under attack. Second thing people do, especially amateurs, do incorrectly. You see thing that make you mad, you respond to thing that make you mad. Because Hulk smash. So, white invade. But first, Aji. Forcing moves. These are our friends. White plays a forcing move first. And now he's trying to defend himself in Sente. He doesn't want to just be like, oh, I guess I'm going to go play here. And then have white follow or black follow and be like, I guess I'm going to go play here. Because then we kind of get into the space where uh, we're not, we're not, we don't have the greatest of shapes, do we, right? So he's fighting for Sente. So boom. And then boom. Because they're not defending, we're attacking. Which is really, really good. Pelican trying to cut through. Bold play right here. Trying to do all the things simultaneously. We're trying to put pressure without losing Sente. And losing Sente would be very, very huge right now because White knows how much territory Black was threatening top and bottom of the board. Way more than White would ever could. So we need to be able to make sure that he reduces efficiently and quickly. Which means don't get caught up in a whole bunch of Gote moves. Right? Uh, placement, gotta be careful of it. Yoink. This placement is interesting because we aren't fully connected here yet. And we're slowly starting to surround. So a lot of fun things that are going on right now. For Sing, trying to surround, cross cuts, threaten the ladder, watch the shape. Now we're in a little bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble. Make sure our two stones don't get killed. More forcing moves, starting to clamp, clamp denied. White connects. Black is in a little bit of a bad way, it seems. But you'd be interested to note that this is still an even game. Because there's a lot of um, uh, shape issues. For example, black plays here. But there's also things like this, right? So there's a bit of a weak group here. There's got a bunch of liberties. So if this doesn't live as is, it could probably be captured because, again, a bunch of liberties. But first, we obviously maximize that kind of thing. White's like, you know what? I don't want you cutting through me if I can't kill you. Now he's nice and alive. Looking mighty scary, the whole bottom of the board. Now under attack. But, and this is a huge but... Enormous butt, like just massively fat butt. Lot of room here still. It is getting to be pretty well surrounded. But if we just look at forcing moves, you could be like, hmm, well, you know, there's a cut through here. Um, there's a pokey point here, threaten to cut through there. So I threaten to cut through there, threaten to cut through there. That's not really connected either. So there's Aji there. There's clamps here. So you wouldn't want to be caught up thinking, you know, I think those stones are just dead right now. 
because this is where Aji comes back into play. Unfortunately, this is also where counting comes back into play. Because white says, you know what? Or black says, you know, you can, you can have another move down in here. Because, um... And then three, so one, two, three. Yeah, this, uh, this territory is looking mighty fine here with the whole 25 point thing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, 14, 21, eight-ish. That's ridiculously close to being an even exchange. So I hope if this is all dead, that this is totally dead. Let's, let's see if he can kill it. Responds. Reinforces the death. Defends against one of the pokes and gets closer. Okay. But is this dead? That is the question. Is this dead? Well, how you would try to live is forcing moves. This threatens to kill instantly and probably get your two, your, uh, two eyes. So white saves. Making some shapey points here. Sweeping the bottom. Looks like it's getting troublesome. Hane, that'd be pretty good because, again, if we cut here and there's a cut here and this isn't connected to this, that's a lot of, a lot of problems there. Can Atari and Atari, that'd be life. Just making shapes, do 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 do. Trying to kill, do 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 do. Just like that, White says you're dead. You are number 30. I have killed you. But have you? Because there still seems to be some cut at times over her, and some cut at times over her, and some cut at times over her. So, Black's like, tell me more about how I'm dead. Defense. Atari into semi-Atari into a connection would be life. Make sure we're connected on up. Hane, hane, hane. Forcing move. Forcing move. Threaten to connect up underneath. Connection. Connection. Alive. Dead, but dead in Gote. Intriguing. So Black gets to live here. Black killed this. So this was, again, what, I forget. What did we say this was? This was like 20-something, right? One, two, three. I don't know. This was like 20-something odd points. Right, 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 right. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And plus the three points lost for white. So that would also be um, one, two, three. So yeah, about 20 points. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So now... You can see the horror that's about to un be unleashed. Don't want to die in the corner. Mic drop. It's like, all right, you gave me that influence. You bet on that attack. You lost that attack in Gote. I guess I'm just going to take uh, ninth line territory across the, the entire board there, Mr. 3-3 three, three man. What you got to say about that? And is it at this point? The, the middle could have been uh, done a little bit differently. It was still an even result. The dying, the killing this in goats. So C2 is important to equal the exchange that already took place. You should do it later, 
but you are the minute you play away, you are not guaranteed to be able to play it later, right? If you don't play it now, you might never play it ever again in the game. So, Black killed you, right? The uh, the surrounding move, the attack, right, right, right. Lived, and now yeah, you've got to invade this before anything else happens, and then hope you can time this in such a way that you do that incente while connecting safely back so you can go back and kill this. If you can't do that, you're in trouble. So the strongest human in the world said, I can't do that. I'm going to do this now. The unfortunate side effect of that is he's now lost the game. Because even the AI says... Yeah, I got nothing for you here, bro. Like, I love the corners, but... But goddamn! That's a, that's some, that's a mighty thick influence. So, what tries? What tries to reduce? So, into the attachment. Notice the lack of cutting points. Not giving him Aji. Like, Black's play throughout this entire game has been to try and take just a simple and calm response to what Shinjin So is going to try to do. And it makes sense to me if he's been studying Shinjin So's games, specifically with the AI uh, assisting him, and he knows that, you know. A lot of these games for Shinjin So actually could have gone really bad for him. I just have to give him enough rope to hang himself with, and I might be able to take him out. So here we go. Shinjin So is trying to live, but even the AI says it's not possible, bro. Even the AI says, yeah, you can't live here. I got nothing. This is, this is just dead. So, this is now very much Black's game to lose. He has to make sure he doesn't do anything crazy that allows his opponent to get away with uh, what I will call professional level flailing. Making sure he's safe. Making sure he's safe. Trying to get something in. Declined. That's not, that's not the right move. Go ahead and grab uh, some shapey shapes. Should get poked on. Forcing move. Cutting point is now safe because this was poking at it. Nice solid shape to disconnect. Fixing some shapey shapes. Again, just not giving him anything to work against. Tries to go for some kind of co, maybe push into block, and then maybe a tari or something into a co. Nope. Not doing that either. Poke, poke, poke. You can see what he's trying to do here. He's trying to get in some kind of cut to do something. Fight. Black just says no. This one's fascinating because we're starting to go here, here, into a cut here. So he's offering, yeah, you can go ahead and play this one. Because I can, I, can, I can still play over in here. It's not a big deal, right? Because there's an Atari. You can take that. So that's not a worry. So, so yeah, go ahead and set this up. I'll just go ahead and draw you back. Cut this off. And it's all fine, right? Well, that's not, a, that's not playable. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. Connects on up. Trying to get something done. Nothing's really happening. Ladders are things that exist. White's like, let me out. Black's like, no. Please let me out. Nicely defended. 
Nicely defended. Still nicely defended. This is just taking once. Doot, doot. Into doot, doot. Into saving. This is Gote because you cut and then bam. So just go ahead and take back once again. As expected. Threatening the, well, everything, really. So White's like, no, don't do that. And back to here. Connect. And retake. And, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Enlarging all of the liberties. I forgot about that one first. Forgot about that one first, because the liberty count here is pretty straightforward. Uh, you could, for example, like throw in here, make that a solid connection so all of those are filled, and then play there, at which point, or yeah, probably play there. In which case, you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's way more than six liberties. Trying something. Like, can I, can I do anything? Anything at all? And Black's just like, no, you can't. You're dead. To which White finally agrees that he is in point of fact dead. And uh, he resigns. Nice. Simple. Easy to follow game. Except for the... The, the wiggling around here is White tried to live in an area where he couldn't. Aside from that, very, very straightforward. Now, yes, Black did begin it with the 3-3. But interestingly enough, White continued it by also 3-3. But he's continuing the 3-3 when influence is already on the board. So it kind of feels like he's just kind of just like being pushed into the game that Black wanted to play. You know? Because now we have the influence here, we have the influence here. We're in mid-game first and we're attacking. We know that these two corners aren't enough for White to win the game ever because there's not a lot of points. That said, it is an even game at the highest levels. I think it's a little bit easier for Black below that but at the highest levels, it's an even game. Then he played nice and simple, just like, I'm going to build. I'm going to keep building. I'm going to just keep building. I'm going to keep building. Like, well, here we go. We're going to keep building. Ah, we're going to keep building. Like, nothing too unusual. This was the next most complicated part, where they fought for Sente. Good old fighting for the centes. That admittedly was a little bit complicated. You had to read out a little bit. Definitely read out a little bit. Good make exchanges. That kind of dealio. And then last but not least, shape recognition for how you have no chance of being killed here. Got sente. Just played big moves, and congratulations, you've won the game by a stupid amount against the strongest player in the world. All in all, I don't think a lot of people assumed that Shinjin So, who's on a 29-game win streak, was going to lose with one of the, in many respects, simplest games that have been played professionally. So yeah. Interesting game. And I think mostly everyone can follow it, follow along with it. Mostly. The life and death stuff got a little complicated, sure. But the ideas, the direction, the use of Sente, and of course down in here for shape recognition, I, I think most of that, I think most of that, even DDK should be able to follow along with predominantly. This part... Yeah, that gets a little sketch. 
admittedly. But it's, in, but it's interesting to note that even the AI says this was always doomed to die. Anywho, either way, hope you enjoy this wonderful murder-tastic game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.